Hey everyone, so we're going to talk about grafting avocado trees. We have a handful of trees here that we have grown from pits and some of them are pretty big and some of them are still fairly small. Some of them we've been growing for uh, a year or two and others are a little bit, you know, less than a year old. I've ordered scions. Scions are active cuttings off of adult mature trees that have been fruiting and you use these scions to graft onto your root trees so you have these trees that will be the root base and then these tips or the scions will get grafted onto the top and that's going to be your fruit bearing portion of the tree and so the bottom part will still be a root base and then the top part will part will bear fruit a lot sooner avocado trees in general would take you know upwards of 15 years or more to produce fruit if you just let them grow the way they are growing right now from the pits as we started them but if we put the scions on them and get them started this way as fruit bearing trees then they should produce in the next year or two um, much much sooner which is awesome so we're going to show you how to graft and then we will come back with a follow-up video after the grafts have taken in maybe six weeks and show you what progress we've had so we'll see you here in just a minute so what we're going to do is we're going to graft on this, what's it called? Scion. Scion onto this avocado tree. And we're going to guess about the right thickness, the same thickness on both uh, both trees. So what we'll do is we'll say, that looks pretty good. And what I've done is I've already popped these leaves off from down below here so that there's nothing in the way. So we'll say that looks, you know, you can put your fingers in and feel that's about the, the right same thickness. So what we'll do is we'll take this and we're just going to cut it off. Remove that. And as you can see, we'll pick a spot that looks about the same. See, that's about the same thickness right there. So we'll cut him off there as well. So when that goes together... Then see they're almost identical size. Good match. So that's where we'll make our graft. Do is there's a male and a female side that you graft together. If you put the the stock in from this side, the the left, it gives you a female end. And if you invert it and put it in from the right side, it gives you a male end. So we're going to start with this stock and we're going to make that the female side. So what we do is we place it in there just so it's at the top edge of it. And we snip it. There is our female end. It wasn't quite centered, but I don't know that that's going to be a big problem. Then we take... Okay. okay we take the part that we're grafting on and we're going to make this the male side so it fits down in there so we'll put it in through this side which is the right just the opposite of what we did that one put it there that gives us the male side then we'll place the male side down into the female side like that and basically, there will be the graft. What you do is you put the male side into the female. You make sure that they're lined up perfectly fine like this. I started the grafting material at the tape at the bottom stock. I'm just gonna wrap around the graft. Hold on to that. And when you get up to this area where it's grafted together, you put some tension on the tape. And you just keep wrapping it up above. 
up the graph. And now we're going to do more layers. Yes, yeah, so we will do more layers. We'll just make sure that this is nice and uniform so it's all, when it comes together, it'll be all one stock. Now we can actually use the tape again. We'll start it down below again. Coming up with it. We're creating a moisture barrier so it keeps the graft good and tight. So we'll put a little more force right at where the graft's at. fingers don't want to do that very well. There we go. So we have that nice and tight now. So that's two layers on there. And then what we'll do is that's pretty well sealed. It's pretty tight and it's nice and smooth. They join together quite well. Now what we can do is we can take the grafting tape once again. And we'll just take off a pretty good section of it. And we'll just start at the bottom again. And we'll just work our way up again. You can tell I'm taking bigger swipes this time because I'm actually really wanting to come up on the tree. So I'm going to encompass that knot that I made. Now that we have the, um, the tree grafted together, we have the graft and we've wrapped it a couple times. What we're going to do is we're going to take a plastic bag, and this is just to keep the humidity in and the moisture out. So we'll wrap it, put the bag over the tree, and we'll come down below the graft, just slightly below it, without putting a lot of pressure on that. We'll leave air in there. Let's keep this up. Okay. Then we'll take the grafting tape once again. You can use rubber bands, but it's hard to get over a really long graft like that. See if I can get this started again. This is like any kind of tape. It's hard to find the beginning. Feels like it's right here. I 
don't know. Can you see it? I see it there, yeah, but I can't it. quite get it started. Okay, there we go. Found it. Okay, so there's the grafting tape beginning. What we'll do is we'll just start down here. And we'll start wrapping that around that. And we'll just tear off a section of it. Like so, so we have something to work with. Okay. I'm gonna keep air in the bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I've got it wrapped several times, then I'll put a little more pressure on it so it's actually holding it tight. Once it sticks to itself, it's fine. Otherwise, it does not stick to anything else. So we got that wrapped fairly well, so we'll go around it, come up through it, make a little knot. it out a little bit. We'll do that again. As you can see, when it touches itself, it gets very sticky, so it's will stick together more of itself. That's basically it, and then you can just trim off this little piece here. And you pretty much have a grafted avocado tree now. Got plenty of room to move. It's not going to let moisture in there and it's going to keep the humidity inside of there. So hopefully that will be a successful graft. And in a few months we'll find out if we have a, a successful graft. So now we have um, four other grafts to do. So We'll be checking in soon.